hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the clean girl if you want to call it that the clean girl makeup aesthetic for dark skin women so i hope you guys enjoy this short video so this is basically just my everyday makeup routine basically but you know i was just like you know why don't use a trendy clean girl aesthetic you know to draw people in start this off i like to put on some sunscreen sunscreen is basically my um primer if you want to call it that but you know because it, i feel like it makes me shiny so it gives me a natural glow which really helps to achieving this look because it's all about minimal makeup yet having a glow so rub this in okay it's on the forehead and i like to like bring it near my eyebrows where i put concealer on i already did my eyebrow guys um the way i do my eyebrows i already have a separate video to that so if you're interested in how i achieve eyebrows when i have no eyebrows go on one of my um shorts that's on one of the shorts now that we're looking like a vaseline all shiny you know what this is giving like when um our parents used to drown us with vaseline to go to school um maybe that's like the reason why i have good skin now so honestly i'm not complaining so my mom used to rub that thing in like my forehead will be shiny like my school photos like it would be shiny bro like the sun's just on my head like i already had a big forehead so that didn't even help that she was just drowning my forehead in vaseline anyways um off track but i'm gonna go in with my born this way guys born this way full coverage concealer that's all you don't mind my nails it was so crusty but little hat if you get like nude you can't really tell because look at that i'm going with my born this way concealer it's full coverage it's all you need for this look and this is what i do ready you ready you ready i go one two one two from there there and then so not on the forehead guys not the forehead. then you grab your um beauty blender make sure it's already damp but just add some setting spray on it just to make it more damp because it's gonna help really bring all of that out you know what i'm saying so make sure you have a pointy beauty blender so you can really get in the corner it's a bit crazy but you just keep blending keep blending keep going over it and then you don't add any more to your forehead but you use what you already have on here and you just dab it up there then after that you bring it to your eyelids so once you're satisfied with the blend i like to go in with my such a buttercup this is just a pressed powder still using the beauty blender you just want to grab some on there you want to blow this because you don't want it too much you don't want too much and then you just set that you set that and i have like oily skin so i really need to set otherwise like my face just looks crazy just under there so you're basically setting where you applied your concealer earlier and some on your nose and then some on the cheeks and then for your forehead guys don't forget the forehead unless you want that shimmer shimmer unless you want that shimmer shimmer don't forget the forehead okay after you've left it for a few more minutes you go in with your pressed powder so this is my pressed powder i use this to just smooth everything on my face if your face is ever looking crusty or rough i promise you a pressed powder will help so you just want to use a small brush because if you use a smaller brush you have more control guys to get into the corners and then you honestly dab that in dab 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 yeah, when you dab it you're dabbing it but also like getting rid of um the baking powder kind of vibe you know what i mean can't forget the whole head guys okay and then this is a pour and part because you didn't put any concealer or foundation on you're gonna go back with this and you're gonna contour using can you see that yeah using the pressed powder And then just get those like black dots parts so you can't really see. 
Mm, okay. Mm. Okay, so once you're happy with the base, you now want to move on to contouring. So I've been using this contour brush for so long now. So what I do is I go back with my my eyeshadow, my black eyeshadow, and I'll just contour how I normally contour, but obviously you'd put less than you usually would because you don't want to look too crazy. Don't look too crazy. Then on the forehead. The forehead. Oh, I just put it a bit too close there. Let me let me fix that. Let me fix that. So using this, you'd contour your nose how you usually would. I usually just do one line there and one line there. Just like that. And then I just blend it. And then just sometimes there, not always there. I feel like that doesn't really do anything for me, so. Okay, so. Just blend that out with the brush. So, little tip, if you ever, like, make a mistake, honestly, just blend it out with your press palette. That really helps. I just took, like, three minutes looking for this. But anyway, now we're moving on to our wing liner, guys. So, wing liner, you want to go... So I do just a little, 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 tiny, tiny wing liner, guys. Um, yeah. And then you just go in with your mascara. I use this mascara for my eyebrows, actually. Just to brush them up. Because I feel like it adds, like, fake hair that I don't have. Little tip, guys. I don't like using, like, gels because it makes my eyebrows shiny. Like, I'll use it if it's the only thing I can see at the time. But then at the front, you want to brush it up. See, like, I don't know if you can tell, but, like, it creates, it creates fake hair. And then just wait for it to dry, because then we just have to go over that. Because see how, like, you see that? And then you just want to put some mascara on. Use this little brush. This is my little brush that I use to fix things up. Oh, should have probably waited for that to dry. Okay, now before you move on to your lips, lashes, blush, highlight, you need to set your face. Okay, you need to set your face. I was meant to do that earlier, but. Oh, because this is the only time I set it. I don't set it later. I don't set it. <sighs> yeah, that's the only time. And then, boom. You see that glow? You see that glow? Now I go with just a eyeliner and then I just like to just there not all the way yeah there we go that's all we need now for the blush i like to use a beauty blender so i just use the opposite side that i didn't use and i have been using this blush for so long now guys it's just literally lipstick from target and it works perfectly Just there, and then some on the forehead, and then you know how we did the eyebrows before. I like to then just fix the front, just fix it up so it doesn't look too patchy. Okay, so we're using these lashes today, guys. They're very simple, they're not full on, and I think I can get away with it because of my complexion. Like, I feel like if I was like lighter tone, that would be full dramatic, but then like with me, it's very subtle, which I love. I'm not complaining, so let's glue that, let's glue it. For my lips, I outline my lips. <laughs> I already have big lips, but I like to go over. Just a little bit. Looks crazy right now. Okay, so what I do is I just use purple cream, honestly. Put a bit in my fingers and then and then leave it like that for a bit. Leave it like that. Don't do anything. Don't do anything yet. Then I use this NARS lipstick that I got like in my makeup package. And you just uh, 
not the top just the bottom just literally a little bit and then you gotta blend you gotta blend And there you have it. Now let's put the lashes on. I think they're dry. So the lashes are on. And then I just top it all off with some highlight. Just on the nose. I'm going to do the hair now, guys. I'm going to put it in a nice... I don't know. What should I do? Should I do it in a high ponytail? Like that. Guys, the claw clip just wasn't really giving me what it was meant to be giving, so I'm just gonna resort to what I know. I'm gonna stick to what I know, okay? Stick to what I know because we're not trying to. We're not trying to be creative here. Okay. Okay, so slicked back. All right, guys, that's it. This is my look. Um, I feel like something's missing. It's giving men in black. <laughs> 